In this video, I am going to present concrete evidence on who created Indescript that shall solve many puzzles of history. A section of the researchers simply don't want to concede to the historical facts and often pose hindrance to their efforts to unravel the true history. What one needs is an open mind to get to the true history of the world. Many are sticking to the out of Africa theory which itself was intentionally implanted to obscure history. Ancient man did not go to far off places through land as it was very hostile compared to the sea and hence he often traveled through the seas. We know that biblical Noah himself could build a ship to escape the deluge. This says that the technology of building ship existed well before the times of Noah. This is corroborated through Tamil literature which calls the Kumari continent as Naval and Thiva Navaihal Valamvanda Thiva meaning an island circumambulated by ships. This fact should be kept in mind while deciding on the historical events. As per ancient Tamil literature, there was a deluge in ancient Tamil continent called Kumari continent and it submerged under the sea roughly 10,000 years ago. That is popularly called as the Lemurian continent. It was the actual cradle of modern men and not Mesopotamia and the same was established through the video Islam and Tamil God Murugan. Humanity spread from Kumari that is Lemurian continent to all places on earth through the seas. Tamil language and religion is connected to all cultures of the world as vividly proven through many of my videos. Lot and lot more will be published in the days to come. Though separated by vast sea, Tamils and Mayans were intimately connected and obviously the Mayan calendar was related to the happenings in Tamil Nadu as proven by my videos and one of it is Mahabharata Saguni was a Jew. I am stressing this point as it is going to have relevance to what I am going to discuss. A point worth considering is that only Tamil literature speaks of three Sangams which contributed to all aspects of ancient Tamil's life. No other culture has this distinction and the reason for that is only Tamil is the root culture. This is a factual statement which shall be proven by the contents of this video itself. Obviously, we shall start our discourse through Tamil Sangams themselves. The gods Shiva and Muruga are intimately related to Tamil language. As per the traditional information passed on through ages, Shiva headed the first Tamil Sangam and the second Tamil Sangam was headed by Murugan. Shiva is called as Dakshina Murthy, meaning Southern leader by all including Lankan Tamils. This is also corroborated by Jewish literature and they called their god as Jehovah which again means Southern king even though they might be unaware of it. Hence, Shiva lived in a place which lies at the south of Lanka. That is what is called a Lemurian continent that is Kumari continent in Tamil. It was submerged under the sea, a fact corroborated by many literary evidences in the world, including the dramatic escape of biblical Noah. Thus, Lemurian Shiva headed the first Tamil Sangam. Let us see how the first Tamil Sangam could have originated. Man started to speak one day and he was struggling to name objects and struggling to create words to describe actions. They named the animals by the sounds they make and that wasn't very difficult. But it was not easy naming many objects which makes no sound at all. They had to evolve a common scientific criteria in naming objects and actions. This is when they felt the need for a society which can arbitrate in such matters. It was Shiva who created such a society and it was the first ever society for developing Tamil language. Having developed the basic techniques of coining words for spoken language, they also developed the first script for Tamil language. Obviously, their script should have only been a pictorial script. This script should have been the forerunner for Indus Valley script and through it to the Chinese pictorial script. Tamil Sangams did not develop language alone. Tamil Sangam was responsible for all developmental activities of the society including scientific development. In fact, as a person chairing Tamil Sangam, Shiva developed an iron smelting technology. He developed percussion sound instruments called as parai, murasu, udukai, etc. 
and simple sound instruments like horns the words vedan and vedam which originated out of hunting practice of shiva later meant signs in his times itself in fact all the four vedas are actually attributed to shiva as per tamil literature and there were scientific documents on various technologies that shiva developed these technologies were assigned to one siddha each by shiva for preparing them in poetic format for orally transmitting this knowledge for the posterity hence the existing sanskrit vedas were fraudulent versions created by the jewish brahmins and they have very little historical values after the times of shiva the first tamil sangam was headed by various siddhas in each era this went on for several thousand years till kumari continent was submerged under the sea during these times many advancements like weaving music geometry and a host of other things got developed all these additional advancements were recorded in literature as upanishadam or upanishadvu upanishadam means additional happenings upa means additional nikhadam means happenings the primary happenings were the ones that happened during shiva's times and they are in the vedas and the additional happenings after his times were called as upanishadam these tamil words upanishadam were pronounced by jewish brahmins as upanishad nikhadam nisaldam nishalda nishad these upanishads were also doctored by jewish brahmins while translating them into sanskrit during 5th century ad there is no consensus among brahmins on the etymology of upanishad and all the etymologies are pure nonsense to summarize shiva started the first ever tamil sangam and it went on for several thousand years till a great cataclysm occurred that was the end of the first tamil sangam shiva created the pictorial script for tamil he developed the general rules of the language called grammar and coined many words and also developed the method of coining new words he developed many sciences and technologies and documented them as vedas after his times many more siddha chaired the first tamil sangam and all the further developments were recorded as upanishadam called as upanishad in sanskrit after the deluge which happened about 10000 years ago a new personage emerged in the remaining area of kumari continent which survived the deluge that personage was called murugan siddha and he was born in ancient lanka he felt the need for sustaining the tamil sangam hence he started it as second tamil sangam during second tamil sangam many contributions are attributed to murugan he invented agriculture he developed martial art having developed agriculture he felt the need for developing agri specific calendar system as a lunar calendar developed by shiva was not season specific the calendar that murugan developed was a rudimentary form of the calendar that we call today as tropical calendar he formalized a way of life called asivaham which was a way of life of tamils until 3rd century ad when it was completely destroyed by kalapura invasion murugan developed a new advanced script which is now called indus valley civilization script though it is called ivc script it did not originate in indus region it merely spread to ivc from lanka where murugan originally developed it as this video is on the development of ivc script i would concentrate on this topic in the following discussion we have said that the first tamil sangam initiated by shiva went on for several millennia and it got terminated by a major cataclysm called the deluge after the deluge the second tamil sangam was initiated by murugan I have said that the script of Tamil during the first Tamil Sangam was pictorial. Obviously, one can't express fully using a pictorial script. It served its purpose in the times when the number of words were also very less. During second Tamil Sangam, Murugan initiated the development of a new script as syllabic script. He divided each spoken word into two or more syllables. The word syllable and all the related words are of tamil origin and it originated from sol ahal that is sol aval which means components of a word for instance i would explain in a simple and a hypothetical way that shall demonstrate the creation of syllabic script take for instance the words like vaanga 
போங்க கொடுங்க எக்ஸெட்ரா ஹியர் இங்க ஃபோனீம் ரிப்பீட்ஸ் இன் மெனி வேர்ட்ஸ் ஹேன்ஸ் வி கிரியேட் ஏ ரெப்ரஸன்டேட்டிவ் சிம்பிள் ஃபார் திஸ் ஃபோனீம் அண்ட் லெட் திஸ் பி ஆஸ் டிஸ்பிளேட் ஹியர் ஐ ஆம் யூசிங் த இட்லைஸ்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் லெட்டர்ஸ் தம் சர்ஸ் ஆஸ் இட் சிம்பிள் வி ஆல்சோ கிரியேட் ரெப்ரஸன்டேட்டிவ் சிம்பிள்ஸ் ஃபார் த அதர் சிலபிள்ஸ் வா போ கொடு எக்ஸெட்ரா ஆஸ் ஷோன் ஹியர் இன் இட்டாலிக் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் then if i want to create a symbol for any new word or phrase or a sentence like for instance vandu kodu it would be va kodu but it would be read as vandu kodu if i want to create a symbol for poi kodu it would be po kodu but it would be read as poi kodu thus in syllabic script one shall make scripts for many words from a relatively small set of basic syllables unlike in pictorial script where one has to create a distinct symbol for every word thus in pictorial script not only the creation of symbol is difficult but it is equally difficult to remember the numerous symbols and their associated meaning this difficulty is greatly reduced in syllabic script developed by murugan during second tamil sangam however even though syllabic script is far superior to the pictorial script it was still difficult to handle full language features through it it awaited a new thinking and it happened during third tamil sangam in my opinion third tamil sangam was started by vitinan known as vishnu after the second tamil sangam was discontinued because of mahabharat war the greatest war of ancient india in fact i have already published that pudhi malai primary tamil seed was destroyed by jivish sakuni of mahabharat during the war it took more than a thousand years to start the third tamil sangam as it was awaiting a great personage for undertaking this great task in my opinion that personage was vishnu the siddha who was called bharata rajan that is bharata rajan as he ruled entire india as a siddha about 3000 years ago as the next stage of the development of the tamil script he split the syllables of the murugan script into individual sounds these individual sounds were further separated into vowel part and consonant part and from this a minimum set of vowels and consonants were identified and they are the 12 vowels and 18 consonants of tamil language this kind of script which has a symbol for each individual sound is called alphabetic script after alpha and beta the greek a and b in this type of script we make thousands of words out of a small set of sound symbols by combining any suitable number of them and permuting them separating individual sounds from syllables might have started during the final stages of second tamil sangam itself moreover the second tamil sangam continued for at least 7000 years after its initiation by murugan and hence the symbols of indus script could have themselves been changing over a period of time and that shall explain the multiple representation for a single syllable in indus script i have so far given an approximate brief introduction to what happened in the three tamil sangams having briefly discussed the three sangams we would now establish that murugan who chaired the second tamil sangam created indus script for a long time i was of the opinion that indus script was developed by second tamil sangam of ancient lanka and i was looking for evidences for proving the same fortunately i got irrefutable proof that murugan indeed developed indus script through the video that mr balachandran of usa sent me as a link when i was publishing my first set of videos on asivaham at the start of 2013 where i had discussed about easter island i was pretty sure that easter island scripts known as rongo rongo were closely related to indus script but at the time this idea of mine did not resonate in the web sources and web sources claimed that easter island scripts were of unknown origin however the new zealand video that mr balachandran shared helped me to establish that the easter island script called as rongo rongo apart from being related to indus script was indeed created by murugan the sweet potato called as kumara in new zealand was the key to unravel the truth i have already proved through my earlier video that sweet potato is called in new zealand as kumara after murugan who cultivated it first 
but the New Zealanders are not aware of this fact. However, they call the god of Kumara, the sweet potato, as Rongo. Hence, we know that Kumara and Rongo point to the same god. We would now see how Rongo means Kumara. The other name of Kumaran is Murugan. This name deforms as Morangan and it further deforms as Rongo by cutting off its first and last consonants. Hence, Rongo is Murugan. I now have to establish whether Murugan would deform to Morangan and Rongo. I would prove that this deformation is indeed a possibility through a similar word that deforms so. That word is Murungai. Apart from sweet potato, another herb that is closely related to Murugan is drumstick called in Tamil as Murungai. This is called Murungai after Murugan as fertility is nourished by this herb when consumed by humans. Murugan, Murungai. Murugan, Murungai. We know that Murugan is the god of fertility as he was called Kandan as Kandu means phallus. In fact, as per New Zealand's Maori people's custom, this phallus is the talisman of Rongo, the god of sweet potato, and we know him to be Murugan. Thus, the talisman of Murugan, the god of fertility, is Kandu, and that is why he is called Kandan. I would describe through another video as to why he was called the god of fertility. It has a historical reason. Hence, if I prove that the name of Murungai herb deforms as Moranga in other cultures, then it automatically proves that a Murugan would deform as Morangan. This herb has several hundred names across the world and that proves the importance of this herb. Of the several hundred names, 40% of them are deformed versions of the word Murungai, the original Tamil word as shown in this slide. It deforms to Marango, Maranjo and Marangan in Colombia. It deforms to Narango in El Salvador. It deforms to Rungai in Philippines, dropping the first syllable Mu. In Tanzania, it deformed to Mrongi, Mrongo, apart from other deformations. In Venezuela, it deformed as Marank, Moriengo and even Orengo. I am just stating only a few examples to save time. Thus, we have seen that Tamil word Murungai deformed to Marangan, Mrongo, Orengo, Rungai, etc. in various places on earth. Similarly, the Tamil word Murugan deforms to Rongo, just like Murungai deforms to Mrongo. Thus, with the help of the herb Murungai, which was in fact named after the fertility god Murugan, we have established that Murugan would deform to Rongo. This Rongo is obviously the god of cultivable vegetables, including Kumara, the sweet potato, and we have already established that Murugan invented agriculture. Having proved that Rongo is Murugan, we shall now prove that he invented Indus script. We have already proved that Easter Island script is nothing but Indus script. The Easter Island script is called Rongo Rongo. Naturally, any script shall be called after the person who invented it. Do you get it now? Israel and name of Murugan is Rongo and the script that he invented is called Rongo Rongo after Murugan, the creator of it. There is a claim that there are no bilingual scripts for Indus language. That is wrong. There was a bilingual seal having both Indus and Brahmi scripts referring to the same message excavated by Indrapala from Jaffna region of Lanka. The Tamil Brahmi originally evolved from Indus script and there is consensus on this point. This shall be taken as an additional proof that not only Tamil Brahmi script, even the Indus script also originated from ancient Tamil land. Dr. R. Madhivanan has successfully deciphered Indus script and in fact, Indus script could only be deciphered by people who are familiar with Tamil and its grammar. The Om Mantra of Kundalini Yoga was invented by Murugan and its syllabic representation was expressed through a symbol presently called as swastika, which was one of the symbols excavated from Indus region. The symbol was invented by Murugan and the description of it is beyond the scope of this video. Tamils migrated to Mesoamerica first and then from there they migrated to Easter Island and from there finally to New Zealand. The stone monument in Peru proves the existence of IVC script that is Rongo Rongo in South American Peru. We have thus proved 
through the east island connection that murugan invented in the script in the next video which would be the part 2 of this video we shall establish the same through the berber nation connection named Hotumatua. Hotumatua, who shares Monica's tribal name Hotu, is said to have brought 67 Orongo Orongo tablets from Peru, a record of their history as a nation. These were written in a script almost identical to one in the Middle East that was abandoned after a war that destroyed the Indus civilization 3 and a half thousand years ago. the war that forced monica's ancestors to flee when dr a carol deciphered one of these tablets in 1892 it showed that it contained a record of many wars in peru prior to hotumatua's escape